Retrotech 100. Hello, my fellow nerds. It's show and tell time. I happen to be passing a charity shop the other day. Um, I normally go in because it's one of the very few charity shops that do electronics and TVs and stuff. Uh, they, I don't think they uh, pat test anything. They just put it out on the shelf. And they're always dirt cheap. Um, I happened to be passing and I saw this box. It didn't have this cover on. Um, the cover was off. And um, I just spotted this. And I thought, oh, I recognise that. Uh, it's some sort of printer. Or a microcomputer. So, here we are. I spotted the expansion port immediately, is what I noticed. And I thought it might be hair rollers at first, because uh, the eyesight isn't the best. But there you go. So it's a Timex Sinclair 2040 personal printer. Here's the manual for it. Have a look at that in a minute. Came with a power supply. Um, oh, it does have a pat test sticker on there. I guess I just plugged it in to see if it beeped. I doubt anybody's plugged it into a Spectrum. What day has it got on there? That oh, was good till February of last year. But not so bad. Electrically, it might be okay. Um, it comes with a built-in expansion port. And the printer itself. Now, I don't know a lot about these. Uh, I know it uses thermal paper. It has some thermal paper inside. Which is really cool. It's got it there. It's quite a bit of it there, actually. You'd have to have a few Tesco's. I don't think I'm going to test it. Um, this is going to my mate Rob Hewitt, who has a massive collection of uh, microcomputers, and uh, he'd be better off having it than me, as he'd more than likely look after it, and I'd end up putting it in a box under the stairs or something. But it was too cool to leave there. It was £4, and I got it for £3. I haggled him. I might as well haggle him, eh? I was going to pay the £4 anyway. Um, and here's the back of it. Read that label for yourself there. So it's made in Taiwan. Um, I don't see a date manufacturer on there. But there is a date on... Let's put that down. There is a date on the outer box sticker. So, um, it hasn't come far. I live in Durham, and um, it stayed in Durham. 6 of the 12th, 85. Don't know what the shop is there. Doesn't say the shop, I don't think. Where number? Something like that, if you can spot what that says. So I thought it was too good to pass up. Uh, so, yeah. Let's get out of this. There it is in all its glory. I do have a spectrum, but um, depending on how long it takes me to get this to Rob, I'm going to see him soon. We're going to go to Arcade Club and Berry. He'll get it then. And uh, if I test it before then, I'll put a video up. But uh, there's the manual. Doesn't need a lot. It's really great when stuff comes from manuals. The instructions are very straightforward. Made of out of ABS molded plastic. Connecting to your computer. Very simple. Everything you need to know here. Loading the paper. Very straightforward. Awesome. So there it is. Timex Sinclair personal printing operating manual and there's the printer how deep and cool hopefully it will work It'd be great if it did always look in your charity shops and everybody says there's nothing left in the charity shops but you never know this has been Retro Tech 100 I'll see you next time